Yeah. Good evening, children. Good evening, online students. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. I've shared my screen. Visible to all the students online? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, we'll just uh, revise a few um, <clears throat> questions before we go ahead so that I make sure that, you know, uh, you can understand the further concepts. So look at this one. <clears throat> if uh, 2 sine theta plus 3 cos theta is equal to 2, show that 3 sine theta minus 2 cos theta is equal to plus or minus 3. Now here, I've told you uh, when it involves sine theta and cos theta, you can use the identity a plus b the whole square plus a minus b the whole square is equal to 2 of a square plus b square. But we cannot use that here because you will, what will you assign for a? In the first bracket here, a is, um, you know, 2 sine theta. Here it is 3 sine theta. And B here is 3 cos theta, but here it is 2 cos theta. So you cannot assign, you know, a particular value for A and B, right? Correct? So I'll just show you a situation where you can use it. I'll just show you a situation where you can do that. Yeah, see here. So here this question involves uh, sine theta and cos theta. All right, so here you can use the identity. A plus B the whole square plus A minus B the whole square is equal to 2 of A square plus B square because you can say let A be, uh, see this one, you know, cos theta plus sine theta can also be regarded as sine theta plus cos theta, correct? So here you have sine theta plus cos theta and here you have sine theta minus cos theta. So a is sine theta, B is cos theta, correct? See here, sine theta plus cos theta, sine theta minus cos theta. See here? You can regard this as sine theta plus cos theta, right? Because A plus B, B plus A, both are the same, right? So you can, you can treat this as sine theta plus cos theta. And this is sine theta minus cos theta. So what is A? Sine theta, B, cos theta. So here you can use the identity. So this question involves sine theta and cos theta, and we can use that identity because you can assign uh, sine theta to A and cos theta to B. So see here. Okay, so that's how we, done, we have done this. Yeah. So this one, we cannot use the identity because for the same reason, the difficulty in uh, assigning, uh, you know, the expressions for A and B. Yes or no? You have a question there? Yeah. Okay. So you cannot uh, assign something for A and B here, right? Because this is 2 sine theta plus 3 cos theta. It's not the same here with the opposite sign. It should be the same with the opposite sign, right? But it's different. It's 3 sine theta here and 2 cos theta. Correct, you know? Yeah. So what you have to do is, so 2 sine theta plus 3 cos theta, the whole square, plus 3 sine theta minus 2 cos theta, the whole square is equal to. So take up the two expressions you see. This is given, this equation is given to you. And you have to prove that this expression is equal to plus or minus 3. This is given to you. The value of this expression is 2 is given to you. And you will have to show that the value of this expression is plus or minus 3. So you have two expressions in the question, right? You have, you have two expressions in the question. One whose value is given, 
one whose value you have to find. So this is given, you have to find this. So take up these two expressions, square and add them. Can you see this here? And this one here? Square and add them. All right. So the first expression which is given, whose value is given, 2 sine theta plus 3 cos theta, the whole square, plus what you have to find, 3 sine theta minus 2 cos theta, the whole square. Square the two expressions, add them. Now expand using the identity is equal to, expand the left hand side using the identity. What is A plus B the whole square? A square. So 4 sine square theta plus B square. So 9 cos square theta, right? Plus 2AB plus 2 into 2 sine theta into 3 cos theta. So that will be 6, 12 sine theta cos theta. Now the next bracket plus the next bracket A minus B the whole square. So it will be 9 sine square theta plus 4 cos square theta minus 3 to the 6, 6 to the 12, 12 sine theta cos theta. So plus 12 sine theta cos theta minus 12 sine theta cos theta cancels. Now you have, uh, okay, on the left hand side, you can substitute, no? You know the value of this one. What is the value of 2 sine theta plus 3 cos theta? 2. So it will be 2 squared. Left hand side, 2 squared plus the next the next expression, you have to find its value. So that will come as it is. 3 sine theta, 2 cos theta, whole square is equal to. Now let's group here. Uh, this one, now on the right hand side, we have four terms. 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. So you can group the terms that have 4 in common and 9 in common. Or you can group the terms that have sine square theta and cos square theta in common. You can do the grouping in two ways. Okay, so you can, there are four terms on the right hand side. You can group the terms that have four in common, or you can, four and nine in common. You can group the terms that have four in common, nine in common, or you can group the terms that have sine square theta and cos square theta in common. So that is your choice. So we'll do four and nine. Okay, so anything is fine. So four sine square, so four, four sine square theta plus four cos square theta, and then nine plus. 9 cos square theta uh, plus 9 sine square theta, right? Okay, so here you have 4. We are done with the uh, right hand side, okay? We have grouped. Now 4 plus, this one comes as it is, sine theta minus 2 cos theta, the whole square is equal to. So here 4 is common. So 4 into in the bracket, you will have sine square theta plus cos square theta. But what's that 1? Correct? Plus 9 is common in the bracket, cos square theta plus sine square theta, which is 1. So now this is 4 into 1, 4, plus 9 into 1, 9, 4 plus 9, 13, 13. And this plus 4 comes to the other side as minus 4. Okay, so here you have 3 sine theta minus 2 cos theta, the whole square. So 3 sine theta minus 2 cos theta is equal to, what is this, 9, no? Whole square is 9. So 3 sine theta minus 2 cos theta will be equal to plus or minus square root of 9. Because 13 minus 4 is 9. So it will be 3 sine theta minus 2 cos theta is equal to plus or minus square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3. So we proved that the value of this expression is plus or minus 3, what we had to prove. Right? So remember here, though uh, the question involves sine theta and cos theta, we cannot use the identity because you cannot give one expression for A and another expression for B because all the four are different. All the four are different. Two sine theta, three sine theta, three cos theta, two cos theta. All the four are different. Okay, so you cannot use identity. So instead, what you can do? There is another way of working it. Okay, I've done it way the way. Okay, we'll see the other method also. <clears throat> so I think this is the simplest. This is the simplest. And whenever it is, uh, so whenever uh, the question involves sine theta and cos theta, always add, square and add. When it involves secant and uh, tan, cosecant and cot, square and subtract. Because the identities are like that. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. But secant square theta minus tan square theta is 1. Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1. So when the, when in, in you know, like questions similar to this one, 
where instead of sin and cos, you have secant and tan or cosecant and cot. Question similar to this, but instead of sin and cos, you have cosecant and cot or secant and tan. You must square the expressions and subtract them, not add. You should subtract. You have only these two options. You should add or subtract. So remember, sine cos you add. Others you should subtract. All right. Is this fine? Okay. Now the other method is I've already shared all this with you. All right, it's uh, the the answers are there on WhatsApp. All these images are with you on WhatsApp. So in this method, what you do, you take up the equation given. This equation, two sine theta plus three cos theta is equal to two. Take up this equation and square this equation on both the sides and expand it. Take up. See, we're not uh, taking up this part. Okay. So take up the given equation. Like in the earlier the earlier procedure, we made use of this expression also. Now here in this method, we are not making use of this expression. We are going to work only with this equation which is given to us. Okay, so write down that equation and square it on both the sides. And uh, squaring uh, means again a plus b the whole square. So a square b square two ab is equal to four, right? All right. Now what you have to do is after expanding, instead of sine square theta, use the identity and replace with one minus pi square theta. Sine square theta plus pi square theta is one, right? So sine square theta is one minus pi square theta, and this pi square theta replace with one minus sine square theta. Write this one as it is. Write this as it is. That's all. This change you should do. Then uh, the you know then you know how to simplify, and that will just take you to the answer. Without any effort, you will get that answer. But you must remember this start. How you should get started, you should remember. In this method, you should take up this equation, okay, and square it on both the sides. So if you square, then you have to expand. So expand using the identity a plus b the whole square. So a square b square two ab is equal to four. Correct. Next, what you should do? Sine square theta should be replaced with one minus cos square theta by the identity, and cos square theta should be replaced with one minus sine square theta by the identity. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. That's all. So next, what you should do? Four into one, four. Four into cos square theta minus four cos square theta. Nine into one, nine. Nine into sine square theta minus nine sine square theta. This one as it is is equal to four. Now you can see four gets cancelled on both the sides. Four gets cancelled on both the sides, right? And then, uh, well, how many terms do we do we have here? One, two, three, four terms we have. Four terms we have. So transpose you can do your uh, meaning you can transpose however you want like you should get plus or minus three right as a result so we have a nine here we have a nine here so i have that nine on one side see these three terms these three terms will again uh, be a, make a perfect square these three terms will make a perfect square there are four terms at this stage we have four terms one Two, three, four terms. Now, see, this is the middle term. It has sine theta and cos theta in it. This one, this one is the middle term, which has sine theta and cos theta in it. So the other two terms are minus nine sine square theta and minus four cos square theta. These three terms, these three terms together will make a perfect square. So you can take this to the other side, minus nine, or you can have this nine here and take the, you know, you can uh, transpose these three terms. You can have the nine on the same side because it's positive nine, no? It's positive nine, so you can have nine on this side and take the remaining three uh, terms, these three terms with the other side. So transposing, anyways, you can do. So I have retained this one, this one, and this one on the same side, and I have transposed plus nine. So on the other side, minus nine. Next step, what I've done is I've chained the signs throughout. I've chained the signs throughout because see here, uh, minus minus the middle term. These terms cannot be uh, in the identity a square plus b square plus 2ab is equal to a plus b the whole square. a square plus b square plus 2ab. a square plus b square minus 2ab. So watch the signs a plus b the whole square, a minus b the whole square. Okay, so watch the signs 
the middle term can be positive or negative, but a square and b square terms are always positive, right? But here, uh, those terms which are the a square and b square terms, they're negative. They're negative. Can you see? This is the middle term, the 2ab term. This is a middle term that can be positive or negative. But the a square and b square terms we can see here, they're negative. But no, we are going to make use of uh, one of these. We are going to make use of one of uh, these two identities, whichever will suit. And uh, here we should have both a square and b square positive, but it's negative, right? So we change the signs to law. But if you transpose, like if you have nine on the left hand side and transpose, automatically they'll become positive. I'll do it maybe. Okay, so ch I change the signs throughout in the next step. Change changing the signs throughout next step. So now uh, this is the a square term. The sine square theta term is the a square term. This is the two a b term, and this is the b square term. Just arranging it, simply arranging it is equal to nine. So you can see. 3 sin theta the whole square, 9 sin square theta, how is it a perfect square? 3 sin theta the whole square. And this one is 2 cos theta the whole square. So the middle term will be 2 into 3 sin theta into 2 cos theta. And check that 2, 3 is 6, 6 to the 12 sin theta cos theta here. All right. Is equal to 9. So a square minus 2ab plus b square is equal to 9. So a square minus 2ab plus b square is a minus b the whole square is equal to 9. So a minus b is equal to plus or minus square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3. What I'm saying is you can also take at after this step, you know, after this step, you can have 9 on the same side is equal to you can take this minus 4 cos square theta to the other side. So plus 4 cos square theta. Then this minus 9 sin square theta becomes plus 9 sin square theta. Correct? And minus 12 sin theta cos theta. If you transpose like this, you will directly have this step, this step, this step. The terms are positive. See here, 9 sin square theta a square. 4 cos square theta b square minus 12 sin theta cos theta minus 2 ab. If you have 9 on the left hand side and transpose the other three terms, the signs will just be perfect. It will be 4 cos square theta, which is the a square term, oh, sorry, 9 sin square theta, which is the a square term, plus 4 uh, cos square theta. Anything can be a and b. You can even take. Uh, uh, okay, minus 2 cos square theta. See now. Minus 4 cos square theta minus 9 sin square theta plus 12 sin theta cos theta. Where am I? Minus 4 cos square theta plus 9 minus sin square theta plus 12 sin theta cos theta is equal to 1. 4 cancelled, so it's 1 there or 0. Is it 1 or 0? On the other side, 4 and 4, 4 on the left hand side and 4 on the right hand side is cancelled, right? So in place of 4, is it 1 or 0? How many if you say 1? How many if you say 0? 1. Or if you raise hands for 1, online students also, is it a 1 here or a 0 here? For one, no? one, one, okay, one. How many of you say the uh, right hand side is one? Niveda, Aragamai, Hasif. Swati. 
Okay. So zero. How many of you say zero? Krishna Priyan, Mratsa, Renu, Bhavashya. Okay. You can't say, you can't raise hand for uh, both zero and one. So Sri Vatsana's new blessing. Okay. Yeah, it is zero, not one. If it was four by four, it is one. It's four minus four, so it's zero. It's zero. Transpose and see. See. It's when they get cancelled. Very important. So this might look like, okay, it's zero, not one. Not like that. See, this four, when it comes to the other side, it's minus four, right? See, we have cancelled it here. Okay, but what if you transpose? How will it look when you transpose? Four will, this four will come to the other side, right? This four will come to this side as what? Minus four. And what is four minus four? Zero. When is it one? Four by four is one. When, it, when, when it's division, then you get one. Addition subtraction is zero. So be careful. We can we have cancelled this four and four. Now the doubt is the right hand side is empty. If it's empty, should it be filled with zero or one? So it depends on what we have, how meaning why it became empty. So four, four we cancelled. It's like addition subtraction, right? So zero it is. If it's still a doubt, you can just understand like this. When you transpose, it would look like four minus four. So then you will have zero there. If it was four by four, a different calculation, it was four by four, then it is one. Is equal to zero. Z zero. All right. Now, if you retain this nine here and transpose the other terms, four cos square theta plus nine sine square theta minus twelve sine theta cos theta. Okay. Now it's good. Now the next uh, question is, how do we know that we should take this one only as a square? Nothing like that. You can take this also as a square. I took this as a square just for the order sine square theta first and then cos square theta. So. I said this is a square. You can also take this as a square. So if you take this as a square, so 9 is equal to 2 cos theta the whole square plus 3 sin theta the whole square uh, minus 2 into 2 cos theta uh, into 3 sin theta. Correct? a square plus b square minus 2ab. So 9 is equal to, so this is a minus b the whole square. a minus b the whole square, right? So 2 cos theta minus 3 sin theta, the whole square. Am I right? 2 cos theta, the whole square is a square. And 3 sin theta, the whole square is b square. So a minus b, the whole square is 2 cos theta minus 3 sin theta, the whole square. But we know that a minus b, the whole square, and b minus a, the whole square, are the same. a minus b, the whole square, because we have here 2 cos theta minus 3 sin theta. But we need to show that 3 cos theta, Sorry, 3 sin theta minus 2 cos theta. See, we have it in the opposite way. Here we have 2 cos theta minus 3 sin theta. But here it is 3 sin theta minus 2 cos theta. So we know that A minus B the whole square is the same as B minus A the whole square. You can just take a numerical example to understand that. So if you have uh, 5 minus 9 the whole square, it's the same as 9 minus 5 the whole square, the answer. 5 minus 9, the whole square answer this is the same as 9 minus 5, the whole square. 5 minus 9 is not equal to 9 minus 5. A minus B is not equal to B minus A. A minus B, the whole square is equal to B minus A, the whole square. Because 5 minus 9 is minus 4. Minus 4 square is plus 16. 9 minus 5 is 4 and 4 square is 16. A minus B, the whole square. B minus A, the whole square, both are the same. But A minus B is not the same as b minus a. So you can write this as, you can also write it as 3 sin theta minus 2 cos theta, the whole square. See, you expand this and expand this, you will get the same terms. I think I can put it that way, that will sound more simple. You expand this one. Okay, you expand a minus b the whole square. 
and expand b minus a. Okay, this is an easier explanation. Expand a minus b the whole square, b minus a the whole square. You will get the same terms. a minus b the whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab. b minus a the whole square is b square plus a square minus 2ab. You get the same terms. So it's the same. <laughs> So you understand why we are changing? Because in the question, we'll have to show that 3 sine theta minus 2 cos theta is equal. So you can change it like this. So what I'm, what I'm trying to say is you can take either of this as a square. If you take this as a square, this is b square. If you take this as a square, this is b square. Both the ways you can get the answer. Okay. So 3 sine theta minus 2 cos theta is equal to plus or minus square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3. So yeah, so this is what you should remember. Question involves sine theta and cos theta. Can we use the identity? No, because all the four terms are different. Then what should you do? Uh, you can take up the two expressions in the question. One method one is you can take up these two expressions, square, add, and expand it. On the right hand side, you should be expanding it. You should be expanding this. Expand it, write it here. Expand this, write it here. And then this value, you know, substitute like that. Like that you should work. Here in the second method, uh, take up only this equation which is given, square it, square it on both the sides. And then you must replace uh, sine square theta with 1 minus cos square theta, cos square theta with 1 minus sine square theta. That's it. Similar. I think you can try this yourself so you will be confident that you have understood. Try it in both the ways. Please do it in both the ways. So here you should subtract. Let's get started. Method one. And here it is subtraction because it's caught in cosecant, so it should not add. Do it.
Finished? Got it? Well, no, this method only. You finished? Got it? Very good. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else completed this method? About to? Okay, I'm just going to present this answer. Just check your steps, and if you have any clarifications, ask me. It's like this. I told you these two expressions, square, subtract. So when you expand this, you get these three terms. When you expand this, you get these three terms. But be careful, there's a minus here, minus. So when you open the bracket, the second bracket, it'll be minus cot square theta, minus nine cosecant square theta, plus 42 uh, cot theta cosecant theta, this minus sign. This, this one squared minus this one squared. When you square this three terms, when you square this one three terms, but since there's a minus sign between the two brackets, when you open the second bracket, every term could be multiplied with this minus sign, right? So if you've gone wrong, maybe check these three terms. Then the two middle terms get uh, canceled. Minus 42 plus 42, they get canceled. Then, as I told you, uh, we have 49 common and 9 common, or cosecant square theta common, cot square theta common. You can group using any criteria. You can group using, there are four terms on the right hand side, right? So you can group using any criteria. Or if they are like terms, you can simplify one second. 49 cosecant square theta, yeah, you can subtract also. See here. You can even subtract 49 cosecant square theta minus 9 cosecant square theta. So 40 cosecant square theta plus 9 cot square theta minus 49 cot square theta. So minus 40 cot square theta. So 40 common cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1. And here you know the value of this expression. So substitute. So on working this, you will be able to find or show that this one is equal to plus or minus 3. Please check. Ask me if you have any questions, please. The second method, you will have to take up that equation 7 cosecant square theta minus 3 cos 7 cosecant theta minus 3 cot theta is equal to 7. Take up that equation and square it on both the sides. And then for cosecant square theta, you should use 1 minus cot square theta. For cot square theta, you must use 1 minus cosecant square theta and you will get the result.
finish the first method. Any questions there? No. Practice the second method also. Take up the given equation, square it on both the sides. Yes, Kesha? Okay. Finish method one, uh, Pratish. You want me to present that? The second method. So what's the identity? Cosecant square theta. Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1, right? So where you have cosecant square theta, you're going to use 1 plus cot square theta. And where you have cot square theta, you must use cosecant square theta minus 1 when you transpose. Cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta minus 1. Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1. So cosecant square theta is 1 plus cot square theta. Cot square theta is cosecant square theta minus 1. So replace and then open the brackets. So same thing here, children. 49 gets cancelled on both the sides. 49 on either sides gets cancelled, right? So now this is the A square term. This is the B square term. This is the 2AB term. So a square minus 2ab plus b square is a minus b the whole square. So this is plus or minus square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3. All right. Okay, good. Online children, any questions? No, ma'am. Okay. So similar situation, children. Okay, you can use the same idea here. We are not doing it. You cannot use the identity because this is three sine theta, this is three cos theta, phi cos theta, phi sine theta. So you cannot assign anything for A and B, right? So you cannot use identity. So the other two methods. This expression, this expression, square and add because sine cos. So add. Then expand this one, expand this one. You can see them here. That's the first method. 
The second method is OK, I don't have the second method here. OK, but what's the second method? So three sine theta plus five cos theta. The whole square is equal to five square, right? So do this. Uh, take the given equation, square it on both the sides, expand. Then you will get uh, sine square theta and you will have three terms. One term will have sine square theta, another uh, term cos square theta. So replace sine square theta with one minus cos square theta and cos square theta with one minus sine square theta and that's it. That's it meaning that's not the end of the answer. Then you'll have to continue like that. You'll get it easily. Yeah, this also you can use both the methods. So you can see here, this is the question. Identity we cannot use because A cos theta, A sin theta. B sin theta, B cos theta. So apart from the identity, we have two other methods. <clears throat> so this, this expression, this expression, you can see them here. Square and add. Expand this one, three terms. Expand this one, three terms. Then the value of this we know, C. So C squared, C squared. This is what we have to find. So that will come as it is. See, or show, meaning, find meaning, we'll have to prove that the value of this expression is equal to this one. So this will come as it is, right? The value of this expression, we know C, so C square. This one as it is, is equal to these two middle terms, they get cancelled. And uh, now you can group using any criteria. So we have these two terms with cos square theta, these two terms with sine square theta. You can group like that, or you can group these two terms which have A square and these two terms which have B square. Any criteria you can use to group, okay? Okay, so I have grouped using this criteria. A square is common between these two terms. B square is common between these two terms. So you can see A square common. So this is sine square, A square common. So sine square theta plus cos square uh, theta in the bracket. And then B square uh, common, sine square theta plus cos square theta. So this is one, this is one by the identity. A square into one is A square, B square into one is B square. Then this uh, C square, no? so you can see the result here. How to move like what next? So see what you have to prove. A square plus B square minus C square. So you'll have to transpose this. C square, bring this to the other side. All right, so minus C square, correct? So A sine theta plus B cos theta, the whole square is equal to A square plus B square minus C square. So A sine theta plus B cos theta is equal to plus or minus square root of A square plus B square minus C square. OK, so super easy. Just remember the procedure. All right, when you see this question, this is what you should tell yourself. This procedure, you should, uh, like a theory, like a question and answer, you should remember this answer, the procedure for the answer. That's all. Here is the other method where you take this equation, square on both the sides. So you have cos square theta and sine square theta. Cos square theta is 1 minus sine square theta. Sine square theta is 1 minus cos square theta. Then, <clears throat> uh, so you'll have to multiply, open the brackets. Okay. Then uh, you can see here a square plus b square minus c square. All right. See, this is, the, what, this is what you'll have to prove. You have a square here, you have b square here, you have c square here. So a square plus b square, and you transpose minus c square. And take the remaining terms to the other side. So this one to the other side as plus a square sine square theta. This one to the other side as plus b square cos square theta. And this one to the other side as plus 2ab sine theta cos theta. Why like this? Because from this we take the clue. 
from this one, we take the proof. We can see that we have a square plus b square minus c square. So here we have a square plus b square. So we would like to have minus c square along with them. So c square is here. So when you transpose minus c square, correct? A square plus b square and transpose, so it will be minus c square. So have these three terms on one side, take the remaining terms on the other side. So now this is a sine theta, the whole square. This is b cos theta, the whole square. And uh, the middle term, 2 into a into b. So 2 into a sine theta into b cos theta, which makes this one. All right. So this is uh, a square plus b square plus 2ab. So a plus b, the whole square. So a sine theta plus b cos theta is equal to plus or minus square root of a square plus b square minus c square. All right. Uh, I have already shared these images with you on WhatsApp. In that one, I had forgotten to type this last line. Correct? Oh, you already went through? Yeah, I had forgotten. I inserted now before the class. I was just checking. I realized that I had forgotten to. I stopped here. So I'll resend the images maybe. I'll resend all the images. Not every other image has a mistake. This one, this also not a mistake. Like I forgot to type the last line. I stopped here. Okay. All right. We'll do the sixth one. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll just tell you how it goes and you can practice now. So, <clears throat> uh, look, these are like, you know, uh, linear equations, linear equations in. Uh, uh, two variables, a, uh, x and y. Okay, the third chapter, a pair of linear equations and two variables. So you can see here, uh, we have to prove that x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 2. So if you have the value of x by a, and if you have the value of y by b, then you can find no, x by a the whole square plus y by b the whole square, and then the answer should be 2. See, prove that x square by a square. What is x square by a square? x by a the whole square. What's y square by b square? y by b the whole square. So your aim should be to find the value or the values of x by a and y by b using these two equations. So you can see the coefficients here. Can you see x by a, x by a, y by b, y by b? So you need to see the question. <clears throat> Just try to, you know, like find some clue like this. So how do you remember how to, you know, like proceed with this, uh, with the answer? So I repeat, you'll have to prove that x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 2, for which you need the value of x by a and y by b. If you have the value of x by a, you can find the value of x square by a square because x by a, the whole square is x square by a square. And if you have the value of y by b, you can find y square by b square. And then you'll have to add and show it's equal to 2. Correct. So we're trying to, so we're going to make use of the two equations and find the values of x by a and y by b. And find the values of x by a and y by b. So you can see the uh, two equations. <clears throat> this is the first equation, the second equation. So eliminate, use the elimination method, multiply accordingly. So I have multiplied the first equation with cos theta and the second one with uh, sine theta. Okay, so that way I'm eliminating uh, this one. So we'll be able to find the value of y by b. You can multiply so that you eliminate uh, y by b and you find the value of x by a. So that's, you can do anything. I have multiplied to eliminate y by b and find the, sorry, I have multiplied to eliminate uh, x by a so that I can find the value of y by b. 
So how to eliminate x by this? The how to eliminate uh, these terms? So you can see here this one and this one. This is x by a, x by a. This is sine theta. This is cos theta. So you should multiply this one with cos theta and this one with sine theta. Then both will become the same, right? If you multiply this one by cos theta and this one by sine theta, so this will be x by a sine theta cos theta. Here x by a sine theta cos theta. So that's what I've done. Multiplying the first equation by cos theta and the second one by sine theta. Correct? Okay. So you should multiply every part of the equation, meaning the equation has three terms. No? So two terms on the uh, left hand side and one term on the right hand side. Throughout all the three terms, you should multiply by cos theta. All the three terms, not only the first term. Okay. So multiply this by cos theta. This is what you get. I'm not reading, just watch it. Then when you multiply this by cos theta, cos theta into cos theta is cos square theta, and one into cos theta is cos theta. The second equation multiply by sine theta. So this into sine theta, you can see here. This one into sine theta, sine square theta. And one into sine theta, sine theta. Now these two terms are the same, but they have the same sign also. So you cannot eliminate, you cannot cancel. So you'll have to change the signs throughout. So plus becomes minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. So change the signs throughout. And now they're the same, but with opposite signs. So it's zero. Okay. See earlier it is like five and five. Five and five you cannot cancel. Five and five is ten. It should be five and minus five. Then only five minus five is zero. That means you you can eliminate them like that. Zero. That's why we slash it. The value is zero. See if you don't change the signs, it's x by a sine theta cos theta plus x by a sine theta cos theta. Like x plus x you have. X plus x is two x. You cannot cancel. It should be x minus x. They're the same terms with the same signs. So if, if the value is not zero, only if the value is zero, you can slash it. So we have to change the signs. So when you change the signs, it is this is positive, this is negative. So zero. So here uh, minus this is minus y by b cos square theta. This is also minus here. Change, take the new sign, the changed uh, one. So minus y by b sine square theta is equal to cos theta minus sine theta. So what's common there? Minus y by b is common. Minus y by b. Minus y by b is common. So in the bracket you will have. Okay, write that. See here. Minus y by b cos square theta. Minus y by b sine square theta. So minus y by b is common. So in the bracket cos square theta. Minus into plus is minus. So sine square theta. Cos square theta plus sine square theta. I've, that's what I've written, sine square theta plus cos square theta. It's one. Correct? So it's one. This is one. So minus y by b into one is equal to cos theta minus sine theta. So y minus, you can like changing the signs throughout. Changing the signs throughout. So I'm writing this minus y by b as plus y by b. So this one, you should take a minus sign. Or you can say multiplying both the sides by the minus sign. I think that's better. Multiplying both the sides with minus one. Multiplying both the sides with minus one. Changing the signs throughout, you can say, or changing the signs on both the sides, or multiplying both the sides with minus one. So when you multiply this with minus one, what will happen? Minus into minus plus. So when you multiply by one, you will get the same thing. So when you minus one, only the sign you will have to fix. So minus y by b into minus one is plus y by b. And when you multiply this with minus one, you will get the same thing. When you multiply by one, you will get the same thing. But this minus sign will be applied. Correct? Yeah. Or you can simply understand as changing the signs on both the sides. So minus y by b becomes plus y by b. So this one is positive. So take a minus sign here. So y by b is equal to minus cos theta plus sine theta. So, yeah, plus here. So I've written it as sine theta minus cos theta. Y by b is equal to minus cos theta plus sine theta. Correct? 
minus cos theta plus sin theta. So that's what is written, sin theta minus cos theta. So we found the expression for y by b. Now we can substitute. See, either what you can do is you can write the two equations again, multiply suitably and cancel y by b so that you can get x by b, x by a. Like you can write the equations like this, multiply the equation suitably with you know uh, the correct expression so that you can exp uh, so that you can eliminate y by b and find the value of x by a. So a similar procedure you can re repeat. Or you can substitute. You have the value of y by b. You can substitute y by b in one of the two equations, this one or this one, and find the value of x by a. All right. <clears throat> so this, as you work, you work. Like I don't want to continue talking, so I'll give you. You just work, and then maybe we'll discuss this. So then substitute, and you find the value of x by a sine theta plus cos theta. Now. This one is x by a the whole square plus y by b the whole square. So what's x by a? Sin theta plus cos theta, the whole square. What's y by b? Sin theta minus cos theta, the whole square. Now this is the form a plus b the whole square plus a minus b the whole square, which is 2 of a square plus b square. Or you can expand. You expand, you will get sin square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta. There you will get sin square theta plus cos square theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta. So plus 2 sin theta cos theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta cancels. So you will have 2 sin square theta and cos square theta. Two times you will have. So sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Another sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So 1 plus 1, 2. You can expand also. You can also expand or you can use identity like this. And sin square theta plus cos square, cos square theta is 1. So 2 into 1, which is 2. Yeah, practice this one. See, this sum is important, we don't know, but the idea used in answering this is important. Maybe you'll get a question similar to this, so you can apply this idea there.
So then how do we understand the substituting part? Please listen. So we found y by b is uh, sine theta minus cos theta. Okay, so substitute y by b is equal to sine theta minus cos theta in any one of the two equations. So I have used equation one. So this is equation one. This is equation one. Now in place of y by b, y by b, we're going to replace sine theta minus cos theta. In, in place of y by b, Okay, so you can see here x by a sine theta minus minus y by b cos theta. What is y by b? Y by b is sine theta minus cos theta. So y by b is sine theta minus cos theta into cos theta is equal to 1. Instead of y by b, replace uh, sine theta minus cos theta. Right. So x by a sine theta minus, now open the bracket, sine theta into cos theta, sine theta, cos theta, um, minus cos theta into cos theta, minus cos square theta is 1. Now open this bracket also. You can open all the brackets once for all also. You can like uh, do minus sine theta into cos theta, minus sine theta, cos theta. You can do it in one step also. Then minus into minus plus cos theta into cos theta is plus cos square theta. So I have opened uh, uh, this bracket first and then the whole thing has a minus sign here. So then again, I've, uh, in the second step, I've opened this bracket. So you can do everything in one step. All right. So maybe you don't have to use this bracket. Why have I used this is an unnecessary bracket? Yeah, so minus this is y by b cos theta. This is enough. I'll remove the square bracket. Do not need it. So you can do it in one go. So minus sine theta into cos theta is minus sine theta cos theta. Minus into minus plus cos theta into cos theta is plus cos square theta. Correct? Is equal to 1. Now, what is, why are you doing this? Why are we doing this? Meaning, why are we working these steps? 
to find the value of x by a, right? We found y by b. Now, this effort is to find the value or the expression for x by a. So remember, all the terms that have x by a, you have it on one side. Take all the other terms to the other side. Supposing you're solving for x, have all the terms that have x on one side. Okay, have all the terms that have x on one side. Take the remaining terms on, uh, to the other side. Remember that always. When you're substituting, so you're substituting here. You found the value of y by b. So you are trying to find the value for x by a or the expression for x by a. So how many terms are there? x by a sin theta, sin theta cos theta, cos square theta. Three terms. And okay, including this four terms. Now of this, of these four terms, only this one has x by a, right? So have that on one side. Transpose the remaining. Always that's what we do. When we solve two equations by the elimination method, so first you will get the value of one variable. Then you will substitute to find the value of the other variable, right? So when you're doing that substitution procedure, so if you're trying to find the value of y, have the term or all the terms that have y on one side. Sometimes only one term will have y. Sometimes more than one term also may have y. So have all the y terms on one side. The terms that don't have y, take them to the other side. Then if two terms have y, you should take out y common between them. If two terms have y, no, take y common. And that's how you find the value of y. So same idea here. Of the four terms, we have three terms on the left-hand side, one term on the right-hand side. So in all, we have four. Now of these four terms, only one term has x by a. We are trying to find the value of x by a. And only this term has x by a. So I have that x by a sine theta on one side. Take the remaining terms to the other side. So this is how it looks. 1 minus cos square theta plus sine theta cos theta. Now what is 1 minus cos square theta? Sine square theta. What is 1 minus cos square theta? Sine square theta plus sine theta cos theta. Now between these two, sine theta is common. So take it out. Okay, between these two, sine theta, between the two terms, sine square theta, sine theta cos theta. Sine theta is common. So in the bracket, you will have sine theta into sine theta, sine square theta, sine theta into cos theta, sine theta cos theta, correct? Okay, so now sine theta on either side gets cancelled, correct? Left hand side has sine theta, right, right hand side also we have sine theta. So it's like dividing by sine theta throughout. Dividing both the sides by sine theta. So transits. Dividing both the sides by sine theta. So x by a is equal to sine theta plus cos theta. We understand, right? We can cancel sine theta on both the sides. Correct? If you have 4 into x is equal to 5xy. So you can cancel x and x on both the sides. Same way. So x by a is equal to sine theta plus cos theta. So we found the expressions for x by a and y by b. Now x by a the whole square plus y by b the whole square. This I think we understand. Right? So I finish it if you're not done, you can just complete it. Online children, please ask me if I have to clarify anything. Yeah. Children, use the emoji, raise your hand. Aniruddhan, Anu Anubraha. Okay. Thank you, children. Yes. Okay, so you have no questions with this one. Finished all of you? Is it cold? Should I turn it off?
you will see next Thursday and Saturday we have revision of all the chapters we have done so far. I'll announce that. Do you have any uh, test or you know exams next week at school? You have. Okay. You will you finish? No, I need to know. Ma'am, I need to know. So I have test tomorrow next week, ma'am. Next week. Cycle the test. Week? Cycle test. Okay. The week after that, you would have finished. Yes, ma'am. Next okay. week fully there is a test okay. and a day and. Okay. Next week you are engaged with uh, tests at school. The week yes, after that. No test, ma'am. Been... As usual, schools. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then we'll do not next week, the week after that. The two classes, Thursday and Saturday's class, so we'll revise um, using case study based questions, MCQs, all that we have seen so far. If not all, I'll just divide into two parts and I'll let you know. I'll uh, share the detailed correct message on WhatsApp. <clears throat> okay, next one. Look at this one. <clears throat> so there's a lot of uh, exponents used here. Uh, exponents meaning the laws of exponents used here. So if a cos cube theta plus three a sine square theta cos theta is equal to m, is the board clear to both of you there? And uh, a sine cube theta plus three a sine theta cos square theta is n. Prove that m plus n, the whole raised to the power 2 by 3, plus m minus n, the whole raised to the power 2 by 3 is equal to 2a to the power 2 by 3. 2 into a to the power 2 by 3. This is not whole power. This is 2 into a to the power 2 by 3. Okay. So from this part, you can make out that, you know, we need to find... From this part, you can make out. See, prove that m plus n, the whole power 2 by 3, plus m minus n, the whole power 2 by 3. So you need the values of m plus n, left-hand side, to work the left-hand side. You need to find the value of m plus n and m minus n, m plus n and m minus n. So we'll find the value uh, of m or the expression for m plus n, m minus n, and then we'll take up the left-hand side. We'll take up the LHS m plus n power 2 by 3, m minus n 2 by 3, substitute, m plus n we'll find, so we'll substitute, then m minus n, all right, so it goes like that. So we have, uh, we are given m is this expression and n is this expression. So how do you find m plus n? This is m, this is n. So M plus N, M plus N, right? Okay. So now <clears throat> there are uh, four terms here. There are two perfect cubes. See here, one, two, two perfect cubes. Before that, see, uh, all the rules we use in factorization, whenever there's something common, take out the common factor. If all the terms involved, there are four terms here. If all the terms involved have something in common, take out the common factor. So A is common. A is common, right? A is common. And But before taking A common, I've just arranged the terms in a specific order. I'll tell you which order. This is the uh, A cube term, not the A cube term, sorry. Uh, this is 
one of the cube terms. See here, a sine cube theta. Not now, actually. You should take out a common. So you can see here. Here you see sine cube theta, cos cube theta. Okay, so I have written these terms which have uh, power 3 in the extreme ends. Okay, so this is like a cubed and b cubed. So this is like 3 a square b and 3 a b square. You can have, you can see the 3 here. 3, 3. There are four terms in all. There are four terms in all. Okay, I think when we take, after we take out a common, if I talk about this, it will be more clear. <coughs> Let me just tell you like this. So this is M plus N, all right? So this we understand, M plus N. Open the bracket. So we have these four terms. Open the bracket, we have these four terms. Now take out A common. Take out A common. So what will you get? Cos cube theta plus 3 sine square theta cos theta plus sine cube theta plus 3 sine theta cos square theta, correct? Now we have taken a common. Now see here, these two are perfect cubes, cos cube theta, sine cube theta, they're perfect cubes. Now here you have 3 a square b. Can you see that? 3 sine square theta cos theta, 3 a square b. So what is a there? Sine theta. What's b? Cos theta. And see 3 a b square. 3a b square, a sine theta, b is cos theta. So when you take out a constant, that's the rule. Whenever the all the terms involved have something in common, take out the common factor. So a common, so we take out a. Now in the bracket, we have four terms. Of the four terms, two of, two of them are perfect cubes. So we look at them as a cubed and b cubed. So then we have to look at the remaining two terms as 3a square b and 3ab square because a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cubed is equal to a plus b the whole cube, mind standard. a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cubed is equal to a plus b the whole cube, right? So. We have four terms. Two of them are perfect cubes. So you're forced to look at the remaining two as 3a square b and 3ab square because you have a cubed and b cubed. Correct? So this is, so how do you make out which is a and which is b from the terms here? See, 3a square b, 3 sine square theta cos theta. So a is sine theta and b is cos theta. Correct? And see, 3ab square, 3a sine theta, b square, cos square theta. All right. So now do you understand why A, this is sine sin cube theta, 3 sine square theta cos theta, 3 sine theta cos square theta plus cos cube theta. So I've arranged it in this order, A cube plus 3 A square B plus 3 AB square plus B cubed. All right. So the next step, you just present it in that format. A the whole cube, B the whole cube. 3 into a square into b plus 3 into a into b square. Just present it in that format. So now uh, this is nothing but a outside which is common in the bracket. a plus b the whole cube. So sine theta plus cos theta the whole cube. Correct? So very simple. m plus n. You have the expression for m. You have the expression for n. m plus n. So m has two terms. n has two terms. So when you perform m plus n, you have four terms. Now, all these four terms have A in common. Take out A. Now, in the bracket, we have four terms. Two of them are perfect cubes. So, uh, so you look at them as A cubed and B cubed. So, you look at the remaining two terms as 3A square B and 3AB square. So, with the help of the identity, you are able to write the terms in the bracket as A plus B the whole cube. That's all. So, M plus N is equal to a into sine theta plus cos theta, the whole cube. Now m minus n. m has two terms, n has two terms, m minus n. So take a minus in the middle. So which means when you open the bracket, this is minus and this is minus. Okay. Then again, take out uh, a common. Same thing. Take out a common. So now the in the bracket, you'll have four terms. 
Okay, so see here you have cos cube theta minus sin cube theta. Cos cube theta minus sin cube theta. <clears throat> so that means this is a cube and this is b cube. All right. This is a cube. This is a this is a cube. This is b cube. So see here three a square cos square theta a square b three a sorry. I'll just write it here. See, this is a cube children. This is b cube. This is three. This is a square b, and this is three a b square. So a is cos theta and b is sin theta. I'll write it again. So this is a cube. This is b cube. So what is a? It's cos theta. Where is cos c? This is a. So this is a square. And this is a. So sin theta is b. So this is b square. This one is b. So you can see 3 a square b. 3 a b square. a cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square minus b cube. a cubed minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube is equal to a minus b the whole cube. Minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. All right. Okay. So <clears throat> a cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 a into b square minus b cube, which is a minus b the whole cube, cos theta minus sin theta the whole cube. So m minus n is equal to a into cos theta minus sin theta the whole cube. So we found m plus n and m minus n. Now let's take the left hand side. Left hand side. So m plus n, we just found the value. The expression for m plus n is this one. So here you can see. And m plus n should be raised to the power 2 by 3. So the whole of m plus n, this is m plus n. This is m plus n. This is m. This is m. What you see in the square bracket, you know, this is m plus n. The whole power 2 by 3. Plus this is m minus n. This one is m minus n. The whole power 2 by 3, so in square brackets, and then raise it to the power 2 by 3. So now, uh, in the bracket, actually, you have A uh, to which this power 2 by 3 is applicable, and then cos theta plus sin theta, the whole cube to which the power 2 by 3 is applicable. So, A to okay, the rule is. See, if you have a square b cubed, the whole power 4. It is a to the power 2 into 4. Multiply the powers. b cubed, b to the power 3 into 4. So it will be a to the power 8, b to the power 12. The base is a. It's raised to the power 2. And it's also raised to the power 4. So multiply the powers. 2 into 4, 8. b is raised to the power 3. Again, the whole power 4. Multiply the powers. 3, 4 are 12. So when there are many powers, you should multiply the powers. When there are many powers, multiply the powers. So see A here. And it's raised to the power 2 by 3. So A to the power 2 by 3. Then this one is raised to the power 3. And further raised to the power 2 by 3. So multiply the powers. 3 into 2 by 3. So we are applying this power to A and cos theta plus sin theta, the whole cube. So this becomes to the power 2 by 3. And this one, this, this, there is already this power 3. So 3 into 2 by 3. Same thing here. A to the power 2 by 3. And this one is raised to the power 3. And also raised to the power 2 by 3. So multiply the power. So 3 into 2 by 3. Is that okay? okay? Okay. So now, <clears throat> now between these two terms, between this term and this term, 
a to the power 2 by 3 is common. So a to the power 2 by 3 here. Now this 3 and 3 will get cancelled, right? And this 3 and 3 also will get cancelled, correct? 3, 3 will get cancelled, cancelled. a to the power 2 by 3 is common, so I've brought it out. So we have cos theta plus sin theta, the whole square, after 3 gets cancelled. And cos theta minus sin theta, the whole square, after 3 gets cancelled. So now you can expand this if you want. Or use the identity a plus b the whole square plus a minus b the whole square is equal to 2 of a square plus b square is equal to 2 of so is equal to 2 of a square plus b square. So this a to the power 2 by 3 common is outside here. And this one is 2 of a square plus b square. So 2 into 2 into a square plus b square. 2 into a square plus b square. So what is that a square plus b square cos square theta plus sin square theta? Cos theta the whole square is cos square theta. This is sin theta the whole square sin square theta. And cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So 2 into 1, 2. And 2 into a to the power 2. All right? That's the RHS. So these, you no, know, I suggest you should read the last part of trigonometry, what we did in the last class and what we're doing in this class, you know. You must uh, spend some time reading, analyzing the question. Analyzing meaning, uh, I identify like, like the way I, I'm just trying to uh, express myself, you know. Exactly. Or you can just uh, uh, watch the recordings again. Uh, you know, treat it more like theory. Go through the steps, see what's happening. And remember the answer like a story. Because if you have to work this two, three times, I don't think you have the time for that. And this is not numerical. So it's easy to remember by just going through. I'm not saying don't practice. I'm not saying that. I'm saying visit it many times, read it, see it many times, and register the procedure. So like if this is given... So go through, just tell yourself A is common. So take out A common and then there are four terms. There are two perfect cubes. So it's like A cube and B cube. So the remaining term should be 3A square, B3, B square. So it should be written as A plus B the whole cube. I'm saying like that. So revise like that. So that, that way you can uh, visit it many times. If you have to actually work, you know, it's time consuming. So you should divide according to your strength. Things like this, you know, which does not involve numbers. You must try to read and remember. You should visit it many times. So you revise many times and you, you know, like revise, like the way I will, I'm just telling, telling you, understand what is there, a common, like exactly what I just told you. So like that you should revise. Numerical steps you have to work. That you have to work. All right. See this one. Here, A cubed is given to be cosecant theta minus sine theta. And B cubed is given to be secant theta minus cos theta. You will have to prove that a square b square into a square plus b square is equal to 1. a cubed is given. a cubed is cosecant theta minus sine theta. b cubed is secant theta minus cos theta. You will have to prove that a square into b square into a square plus b square is equal to 1. So you will have to first get the values of a and b. Using a cube is equal to this. You should find the value of a. And using b cube is equal to this expression. You should find the value of b. You have the expressions for a cubed and b cubed. A cubed and b cubed. What about a and b? So only if you have the expressions for a and b, you can substitute here in the left-hand side. For a, you substitute and you can square it. b substitute, square it. But here you have a cube. So this will not help you to substitute in the left-hand side, right? So from, from these 
you should get the expressions for a and b because you have for a cubed and b cubed. You should find what is a and b. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, just work it in the number So what is a cubed, children? A cubed is equal to cosecant theta minus sine theta, right? So a cubed is equal to what is cosecant theta? One by sine theta minus sine theta. Yeah. Every time, you know, when uh, <clears throat> the expressions have other ratios, convert them to uh, write them in terms of sine and cos. That's that's a rule throughout trigonometry. Wherever you have other ratios other than sine and cos, replace them using sine and cos if possible. But if you have secant and tan, you don't have to disturb them. If 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 you have secant and tan together, they you know, are a part of an identity, right? Secant square theta minus tan square theta is one. So we do have exceptions, but otherwise, now in this case, cosecant theta minus sine theta. So they're not connected to any identity, cosecant and sine. Right? So you write cosecant theta as one by sine theta minus sine theta. So a cubed is equal to sine theta common denominator. Correct? One minus sine square theta. Correct? So a cubed is equal to one minus sine square theta is cos square theta by sine theta. So whatever possible, you know, simplify. Correct? Cosecant theta is one by sine theta. Then you have you have, once you do that, you are forced to take the common denominator, and that gives you one minus sine square theta in the numerator, and one minus sine square theta is cos square theta. So cos square theta by sine theta. Now to find the value of a. Now we have a cube, no? How will that power three become one? The a cubed, you want the value, or you want the value for a, but it is a cubed. So three should be multiplied with what to get one? Three into what is one? One by three. Three into one by three. If you multiply the power three with one by three, then three into one by three, three, three cancels, you'll get one. So raise both the sides to the power one by three because you want to find the expression for a, but here you have a cubed. So that three you should eliminate. How will you get rid of three? You must raise both the sides to the power one by three. So raise both the one by three. Sorry, raise both the sides to the power one by three. Or taking cube. Okay, I'll tell you that also. So is this fine? So three and three will get cancelled, right? Because three into one by three. So three, three cancels. So here what will happen? A is equal to, you should multiply the powers. Two into one by three, two by three. A is equal to cos theta to the power two by three divided by sine theta to the power one by three. You must write the power here. You must not write, it's not like this. It's not cos theta to the power two by three like this, this is wrong. Trigonometric ratios, you should write the power here cos theta to the power 2 by 3 divided by sine theta to the power 1 by 3. So it's the same as doing this. A cube is equal to cos square theta by sine theta. So A is equal to the cube root of cos square theta by sine theta. Correct? The cube root of cos square theta by sine theta. So cube root is the radical sign. So the equivalent exponential uh, sign is to the power one by three. Correct? When cube root of three, this is called the radical sign, cube root. So that converts to, in the exponential form, cos square theta by sine theta. This is the radical form. So the, in the exponential form, this cube root is written as to the power 1 by 3. So same thing. So 2 into 1 by 3 is 2 by 3, and here you will get 1 by 3. So you can understand both the ways. Either you raise both the sides to the power 1 by 3, raising both the sides to the power 1 by 3, or this one which we already know. A cubed is something. So A will be the cube root of that's something. 
and that cube root symbol should be written as to the power 1 by 3. Then a is equal to multiply the powers 2 into 1 by 3 is 2 by 3. So cos theta to the power 2 by 3 divided by here we have sine theta to the power 1 by 3. So it is sine theta to the power 1. This is how you find the expression for a. Similarly, b cubed is equal to secant theta minus cos theta. b cubed is equal to secant and cos. They are not connected. Yeah, what's the time? <laughs> 916. Oh, I set the clock yesterday, I think. Yeah. So b cubed. What's the formula to find the median? Tell me. What's the formula to find the median of a data? Median of a grouped class and uh, grouped frequency distribution. Mm, okay, correct. Anybody else? Formula to find mean, uh, sorry, formula to find median for a grouped frequency distribution. That is a frequency distribution involving class intervals. Yeah, correct, you're right. Yeah, repeat. Yeah. Online students, median is equal to, yeah, repeat, L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into H. I think earlier you said like this. No, that's different. That's wrong. This is wrong. That's what you said, but I just, I said, okay, but because you are almost right. <clears throat> Median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into H. This answer plus L. All right, back to this one. B cubed is equal to secant theta minus cos theta. So B cubed is equal to, what is secant theta? 1 by cos theta minus cos theta. B cubed is equal to 1 minus cos square theta by cos theta. B cubed is equal to sine square theta by cos theta. So B is equal to cube root of sine square theta by cos theta. B is equal to sine square theta by cos theta, the whole power 1 by 3. B is equal to sine theta, 2 into 1 by 3 is 2 by 3, divided by here there is a 1, 1 into 1 by 3 is 1 by 3, cos theta to the power 1 by 3. So like this, uh, like this you must uh, bring out uh, the expressions for A and B. Now substitute, that's all. Now it's just substitution. Okay, there's the left hand side. There's the left hand side. A squared, B squared into A squared plus B squared. Correct? Now we know this is A, this is B. So substitute. Zoomed in, so I cannot annotate. Just follow the pointer, the cursor, I mean. <clears throat> so you can see this is the left hand side. This is A square into, so you can see into, this is B square. And then A square plus B square. So A square plus B square, substituting. Now we need to work this and show the answer is 1. All right. All right, substitution. Okay, now again, laws of exponents, multiply the powers, this into this. So two into, sorry, two by three into two, four by three. One by three into two, two by three. Is it visible to both of you? Yeah. Two by three into two, four by three. One by three into two, two by three. Okay, same thing here, two by three into two. 4 by 3, 1 by 3 into 2, 2 by 3, same thing, 4 by 3, 2 by 3. 
here the the two terms are connected by a plus sign see here a b sorry a square b square but it's multiplication here between a square and b square it's addition outside the bracket between a square and b square it's multiplication in the bracket between a square and b square it is addition so you have the same thing here this is a square b square this is also a square b square here it's multiplication here it is addition so you'll get the same thing here and here no you'll have the same thing see here this one and this one they're the same this one and this one they're the same but here it's multiplication here it's addition okay all right so here <clears throat> here you can use the law of exponents which says uh, when bases are same and it's division subtract the powers because it's in a, there's a multiplication sign right so here see it's not addition subtraction here it's multiplication so you have cos theta to the power 4 by 3 in the numerator cos theta to the power 2 by 3 in the denominator so when bases are same and it's division, subtract the powers 4 by 3 minus 2 by 3. See here. Here again, sine theta to the power 4 by 3, sine theta to the power 2 by 3. Subtract the powers 4 by 3 minus 2 by 3. All right. Here you have to take the LCM because when, whenever, whenever you have fractions connected with plus minus sign, you have to take the LCM. Here it is cos theta. This is sine theta. So you cannot use the law here because the bases are different. Cos theta, sine theta. This is one fraction. This is another fraction. They are connected by a plus sign. So you have to take the LCM. So the product of the denominator is the LCM. Multiply these two, that's the LCM. Correct? Multiply these two, that's the LCM. So you should multiply these two and these two, right? So when you multiply these two, it's like cos theta to the power 4 by 3 into when you multiply these two. When you multiply these two, the bases are same, right? Cos theta, cos theta, the bases are same. And it's multiplication. So what should you do? Add the powers. So that's how we, one minute. You may be following, but I just want to make sure. See, like if you have um, A square by B plus B square by A, what's the LCM, children? A, B, right? A, B. Then what do you have in the numerator? A cube, this into this. So A cube plus B cube. Correct? Yeah. So on if you want this. Okay. So common denominator, common denominator. Now we'll have to multiply these two. So when you multiply, base are same, cos theta, cos theta. So when base are same in its multiplication, we add the power. So 4 by 3 plus 2 by 3. Multiply. Base are same, sine theta. Add the powers, 4 by 3 plus 2 by 3. Divided by this LCM. Clear? Okay, so here 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 by 3. 4 minus 2, 2, 2 by 3. Here 4 plus 2 6, 6 by 3 is 2. The next step you can see that. And here 4 plus uh, 2, 6, 6 by 3 is 2. Okay, so 2 by 3. I have written this power 2 by 3 here. This power 2 by 3 here. This is cos square theta because 6 by 3 is 2. So cos square theta. This is sine square theta. And the denominator as it is. Now they get cancelled, no? Uh, cos theta uh, to the power 2 by 3 here and here. Cancelled. Sine theta to the power 2 by 3. Sine theta to the power 2 by 3. Cancels. Right? See here, this one. It's a product. You have the same thing here. This one, this one, this one, this one, they're the same. So you can cancel. So we have cos square theta plus sine square theta, which is one. These get canceled. So cos square theta plus sine square theta is one. All right. So isn't it simple? It just looks, it's new. It may look like difficult, but it is not at all. We're just using the basic laws of exponents to, uh, you know, proceed with the, the steps. And this we always know. When we have different ratios, convert them to sine and cos. And we, we have A cubed here, so we should find A. We have B cubed here, 
that is we are given b cubed but we'll have to find b only then we can substitute for a and b in the lhs We'll wind up uh, today's session with this one. That's it. This I told you in the last class. Last class, we saw this one. Oh, I can tell you this. I, I would have finished today I, because of the projector. The class was delayed by, I think, almost 20 minutes. It was here at 7.20, but I think 15 minutes the class was delayed. Well, I see it's over. So I judged it. I had judged it correctly that we will wind up uh, technology today. I think we'll have two more sums to take up in the next class. This one. These two. This I'll finish in the class now. Yeah, I cannot hurry with the other one. So remind me in the next class, we'll just. Uh, you know, of understand those two. Just discuss this one, thirteenth one and fourteen. Thirteen and fourteen, we need to postpone it to the next class. So with this, we come to the end of our trigonometry. <clears throat> We'll see this one now. If uh, cos theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, this condition we have seen earlier also, cos theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So cos theta is equal to, I remember actually this one we've already done a uh, few sessions earlier, but I want to repeat. Cos theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Correct? So what is cos theta? Sine square theta. Okay, have this result. Okay, cos theta is equal to sine square theta. Okay. Now, uh, we have sine theta to the power 12 plus, okay, one minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. Of the 7 terms, the last 3 terms have 2 in common. Look at the remaining four terms. Look at these four terms. Of these four terms, these two terms have three in them. So this makes us, uh, you know, uh, consider the identity a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. The presence of three in these two terms gives us a clue that we may have to use identity a cubed plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cubed. So these, so we, we want to try with that. So we want to try these four terms using the identity a cubed plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cubed. And then since these three terms have two in common, we'll have them. So we'll have the first four terms together and the last three terms together. So first four terms we'll be dealing using the identity. The last uh, three terms will take out two common and then see what can be done. Okay. So since uh, uh, these are the two terms that have three, these two terms have three in them. This has to be A cubed and this one has to be B cubed or you can treat this as A cubed and this as B cubed. So that's how we, you know, like, come to some conclusion, like how do you identify which is the A cube term, which is the B cube term, like this. Seven terms, last three terms have two in common, so we'll have them separately. The first four terms, in the first four terms, two terms have three in them, so they should be those three A square B, three AB square terms. So the remaining two terms must be the A cubed and B cube terms, A cubed and B cube terms. Okay, so sin theta to the power 12. This is a cubed. That means it should be sin theta to the power what here? Simple question. 
sine theta to the power 12. This is the a cubed term. So I put a 3 here. So what should it be here? 4. It should be 4. Similarly, sine theta to the power 6 is the b cubed term. Is a b cubed term. So it should be what? Sine theta to the power 2 here. So this is a, this is b. <laughs> Why do you get so nervous? So this is a cubed, this is b cubed. Understood? I'll just do it again. Sine theta to the power 12, sine theta to the power 6. This is a cubed, this is b cubed. So three outside. So what should you have inside the bracket? Sine theta to the power 4. And sine theta to the power 2. 2, 3 are 6, 4, 3 are 12. So we have identified A and B. So you can see here. So this analysis you should do. And then you should start working. Then you should start working. So see here. We identified A children. So sine theta to the power 4. A cubed plus 3. A, we identified A square into B. We identified A and B. A is sine theta to the power 4. B is uh, sine square theta. Correct? So you can see it. A cubed plus 3. A square B. A is sine theta to the power 4. B is sine square theta. So A cubed plus 3. A square B. Plus 3. A B square plus B cubed. And for the last uh, three terms, we have taken two common. I'll zoom out. So this one can be written as A the whole cube. This one is 3A square B. Now just see if when you simplify this, if, if you will get back this one. What is this? 4 twos are 8, right? 4 twos are 8. See, we have, we'll, I'll just work this, 3, Sine theta to the power 12. So this is sine theta to the power 4. And then sine theta to the power 6. So it is sine square theta. See this one, this one, okay. 3. A square. What is A? Sine theta to the power 4. This is A. A square into B. What is B? Sine square theta. Correct, children? There you see A cubed. So what is A? Sine theta to the power 4. What's B? Sine square theta. So this, this term is 3 A square B. So 3 A square sine, the, sine theta to the power 4, the whole square. A square into B, sine square theta. Now simplify, you should get this term. Simply you cannot write like this. Now let's see if this simplifies to this one. So this is 3, 4 twos are 8. So it is sine theta to the power 8 and sine square theta. Now bases are same and it's multiplication. So we need to add the powers. 8 plus 2, 10. Oh, correct. So this term can be written like this in the form 3a square b. It can be written. Then this term. This term. This one, three a. This is a into b square into b square. Three a into b square. Correct. So it'll be three sine theta to the power four into sine theta to the power four. So base are same, and it's multiplication. So add the powers. Four plus four eight. So like this, you must show that these four terms are of the form a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube and take out two common uh, between the last three terms. So now the first four terms uh, by the identity is a plus b the whole cubed. And this one I've written as it is, as it is, all right? Now I've always told you sine square theta is comfortable. Don't disturb that. 
what is not comfortable the power four is not comfortable so write this one as sine square theta the whole square see here we've finished we've used the identity a plus b the whole cube okay this one as it is i've written next step in the first bracket we have sine theta to the power four this is sine square theta that's fine sine square theta is fine this power four we are not comfortable so write it as sine square theta the whole square and here also the power is 4, so sine square theta the whole square. That's the change in the next step. It's time, so I'm just doing it first. Okay, now what is sine square theta? Cos theta. We've already got that. Okay, we've already got sine square theta is cos theta. All right, no, please see here. So sine square theta is cos theta, replace. Wherever the power is 4, uh, we uh, rewrite like this. Wherever the power is 4. Next step. We have this result already. Sine square theta is equal to cos theta. So what is sine square theta? Cos theta. Then this power 2. What is sine square theta? Cos theta. Then this power 2. Next step. Uh, so this is cos square theta. Because cos theta, the whole square is cos square theta. This is already sine square theta and the power 3. Then this is cos square theta. Sine square theta, which we already had, and minus 1. Now, cos square theta plus sine square theta is 1. Cos square theta plus sine square theta is 1, and this minus 1 already there. 1 minus 1 is 0, into 2 is 0, so 1 square is 1. I'll just tell you this part again. We are given cos theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Please transpose this one. Don't transpose this. Either transpose, you will get something. Transpose that. We have 1 there. No. 1 you can get some result. 1 minus cos square theta will give you a result. 1 minus cos square theta will give you something. So transpose cos square theta. So cos theta is equal to sine square theta. Okay. And here, when, where it is sine square theta, don't write cos theta. See here, here you have sine square theta, right? Don't write cos theta there. You want the power 2. Power 2 is comfortable. The identity is sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So if the power is 2, you are comfortable with that. When the power is 4, we cannot use the identity. So wherever the power is 4, there you must write it as 2 into 2. So I'm saying the sine square theta, don't write cos theta. Here also the sine square theta, don't write cos theta. Because sine square theta is fine. We have it in the identity. What is not fine is the power 4. So here it is sine square theta, the whole square. Here also sine square theta, the whole square. Only here you use sine square theta as cos theta. Only for this one, sine square theta as cos theta. This one, don't write cos theta. Here we have sine square theta. Here also we have sine square theta, right? This sine square theta, you write cos theta. And then this whole square, so it becomes cos square theta. This sine square theta, don't write cos theta, I'm saying. All right. Yeah. So remember all that. <clears throat> we have a similar one we'll do it in the next class. So we have three more uh, questions to uh, really wind up with trigonometry. We'll see them in the next class. We have one similar to this and two different ones. Those two are similar. All right, children. Uh, so that's it for today's session. Thank you so much. Good night. Online children, thank you. You may leave the call. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.